Okay, YouTube. Now we're going to go ahead and create a a link for our external style sheet so that we can link it to our index.html page that we built. And remember we've got this style that we're working with. And here's a bit of code right here. We're going to use the link tag. Um and this should be in the description and I'm not going to really go over this but here's the main part the really important part this part right here says href equals styles.css you have to take out this and whatever you named that style sheet you're gonna put it there so even if it was godzilla.css then that's the name that needs to be here okay otherwise this code is not gonna work also a bit of information this has to be in the head tag of every page every HTML page that you want your styles associated with it has to be in the head in other words in order for these styles to work uh, what else oh yeah and also um, as we see here originally I had the style sheet on the root directory okay but if you're working with a larger site you may have multiple style sheets and of course to organize those multiple style sheets so that you can visually understand it better it's best to have like a little folder that just says CSS on it and you drop it in there but remember in every file you've got to go in and manually change it unless you have a great text editor like Dreamweaver or Notepad++ then you're gonna to need to go in and manually change that in all the head tags that you need affected by that style sheet so here because the styles.css is no longer on the root directory of the site we need to put it at CSS forward slash styles.css so that allows now you're telling the the uh, user agent that we're gonna link this style sheet it's a CSS file and here's the name of it right here this is the name and the address of it it's in the CSS folder and the name of it is styles.css okay very important that you have this this tag this little block of code right here in every one one of the files that you want these styles to work in okay now over here and our style sheet we have the coming soon ID that we created that we're associating it with and over here in the body tag is the paragraph ID called coming soon so now we're gonna go ahead and this is what it looks like okay so this is the style now let's say we screwed up we didn't put it in there right gonna save that let's see what happens okay we're gonna view it in Chrome let's see what happens now the heck oh, okay another tutorial for this one see right over here remote view we have to go ahead and synchronize these two so that they match okay sorry about that but basically the the two sites weren't matching and that's one of the things you're gonna run into when you're dealing with FTP clients and remember we we're talking about how you know you need to refresh your connection yeah you also need to make sure even when you're like refreshing the connection that not only that you do that but that you upload um, this the the current information to the site whatever the newest thing that you've done to your site is uploaded so over here like in Dreamweaver we have two views a local view and which is your computer and the remote view which is my server and on the server as you can see styles.css is still on the root directory but guess what it's oh, okay Dreamweaver is still contacting it but it's also in this folder so that was the a little bit of troubleshooting there for you but very important that you keep these two um, views in mind when you're working with your websites and we're gonna do a whole tutorial just on FTP clients and working in between them because it can be confusing especially when you're first starting out okay but trust me this little bit of code works thanks for viewing